This is Gerardo Del Real with Resource Stock Digest. Joining me today is the president and CEO of Cross River Ventures, Mr. Alex Klenman. Alex, how are you today? I'm good, Gerardo. How are you doing? I am well. It's uh, interesting times for sure. We had a Fed rate hike decision yesterday that has led to yeah. a sell-off in the overall indices, but a, a rallying in the precious metals price. You just announced the results from the very first holes ever drilled at the Bearhead Zone at the flagship McVicker Gold Project in Ontario. The headline number was a discovery of 41.1 grams per ton gold over half a meter. Um, obviously, early on in the property's history, I know this is a property that the mm -hmm. technical team feels has the potential for greater widths and significant mm -hmm. grades. I'd love to get your take on the release. Yeah, no, the, you put, you frame that quite well. Um, we, the, obviously, the, the the what I think happened here is is we have to go, we have to trace backwards here. And, and and what we did really was we followed the methodology that was set out by the tech team, which included, you know, a, we've talked about this numerous times: uh, the data compilation, and then the lidar surveys, and then structural interpretations of of where the, where they think you know gold might be found in this area. And what we did with some sampling here is we find found the 700 meter corridor um, that that's open uh, east west, open long strike. And the team decided, you know, this is worth putting some holes down. It's virgin ground. No one's ever drilled it. Uh, but they they really like the potential of finding mineralization. And and we just confirmed that their their methodology works. Um, that's exploration at its at its base, at its at its primary best. Um, you know, taking virgin ground and finding gold. Um, so we got a nice 41 gram hit over half a meter. There were some other lower grade hits and nothing real lengthy. But what we've proved here is that the, the area is mineralized. Uh, there's a system in place. Um, and, and it's nice, you know, the great thing about finding a 41 gram hit there, even though it's only a half a meter, is those things typically aren't isolated. Uh, gold moves, you know, it, it pools as a fluid and, and drops. So somewhere there, there's going to be more grade. Um, and there's probably going to be lengthier intercepts to be found. But discovery success. Um, I mean, I had a long call this morning with uh, with a shareholder, and I, and 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 he suggested to me. He said, "Look, the only thing you could put out in this market that would have got attention is you know 10, 10 meters of ten grams. Otherwise, you know, no one's here to see the no one's here to watch." And 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 I get that. So we're going to continue to plug ahead here. We've got more holes to put down at McVicker. We've got six or seven holes we're waiting for uh, assays on the altered zone, which is a little north uh, of, of this zone. And again, uh, the first holes we've put down in the Vicar and, and we're, we're onto something. We're, we're excited. We already know there's mineralization there. There's a lot of spots to hit on the property. It's big. Um, but, you know, it, it, these are the first holes in the bear head and uh, we like it. You mentioned the property being big and, and you mentioned these are the first holes ever put into it. Can you provide a sense of the scale because, you know, let, let, let's be frank here. You, 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 you announce the holes and yes, the widths mm -hmm. aren't there um, the way that we would love to see them, right? But, Correct. but this is just one part of one zone, which is part of a big, big property. Can you provide some scale, yeah. Alex? Oh, yeah. There's at least a dozen zones uh, of interest. Um, we have a copper deposit on the property. Uh, we've got, you know, multiple zones that have been drilled prior. Um, one of the things this tech team really wanted to do was make new discovery and not just hammer around uh, known areas. Um, if you're going to prove up um, ounces and large amounts of them, you're going to have to open up new zones as well. I mean, we're just 600 meters south of, of the cello vein, which, which has some uh, astronomical grades. Uh, and that's just north of the bearhead zone. So, I mean, we've got multiple zones. The altered zone, that which uh, we're waiting for assays back from, uh, is another one of these zones that's had a little bit of previous uh, work done. Um, and the, the biggest thing here is all of these areas were not connected over the last 20, 25 years. We put them together in in, in, in this large consolidated package that that is McVicker now. And, and uh, so, you know, we're excited about tying them together and, and getting some more drills in the ground. We also have a second project we're going we're gonna to get to pretty quick here called Manitou. Um, again, this similar sort of targeting done, the same methodology that was applied to McVicker was applied at Manitou. We got a 129-gram 
sample that we picked up there last summer. So um, that one's probably going to get drilled uh, before we get back to McVicker, only because uh, we have to drill it. It's close. It's 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 road accessible. Uh, lots of infrastructure down there in managing your driving. So um, again, these two projects are really going to be the two that we work. Six holes pending from the altered zone. When do you expect to have assays out to the market? Yeah, I would think in the next two, three weeks. Uh, right now, we know labs are, are busy. Everybody's waiting. Uh, there are lots of delays. And uh, we're going to be hopeful that, you know, over the next couple of weeks, we're going to see something. But it could stretch into July. Um, you know, timelines it, it seem to stretch. And, and uh, it's taken us a while to get, get bearhead back. But altered's not too far off. Looking forward to it. Alex, thanks for the update. We'll chat again soon. I appreciate it, Gerardo. Thanks so much. All right. Hey, everybody. Gerardo Del Real here. If you're enjoying the content that you just saw, you can let us know in three simple steps. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and please share across your network and on social media. Take care, everybody.